Welcome, watch fettlers, to part two of this stuttering seconda, which I bought for £10 plus postage on eBay as a project watch. Uh, I gave it a clean uh, in the petroleum ether bath in part one. It went for four hours and then stopped. So I gave it another couple of washes and noticed a tiny speck of red, what looks like paint, has come out of the movement, plus some more dirt is not a good sign. The other problem is there was a lot of resistance when I tried setting the hands and advancing the time. So it could be there's more dirt in there and it's moved. I don't know. What I do know is I've washed away any lubrication that's around the one pin that I can see sticking out, which is close to the winding gear there. Uh, most watches have all the jewels capped. So there's one drop of oil fitted by the factory when it's brand new under that cap. But you can see here on that bridge, there's the three jewels there, they're all capped, so they'd have to come off. But this one, I can put one drop, two drops maybe of oil on there, give it some time to settle in. And amazingly, uh, the resistance in setting the hands largely disappeared. So I gave it a full wind and set it off against my Quartz Citizen. And now we're gonna wait and see if this watch will run for 24, 28 hours, which a vintage Seconda should do no problem. So stand by for part three. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.